Hey, what is going on? Grunge Life Gaming back here, and in today's video, I wanted to go over an up and coming news reporter. His name is Alessio, but he goes by his channel name Water Ghana. I wanted to make this quick video just covering everything that has happened in the last couple weeks for the normal people who usually watch him who just want the quick news fast. A lot of people have noticed that he hasn't uploaded in over two weeks at the time of making this video. So there is a lot to go over. Sit tight and enjoy this video. Now in late January to early February, a bunch of rumors started going around that Water had dated this girl when he was 18 and she was 15 and 16-ish, right around that age. So there was a gap and definitely a separation if we're going by the above 18 standard here. But then the girl came out and also provided some evidence. She shared some screenshots and some messages. Now they were no Call Me Carson, you know, guilty messages, but they were on the borderline of bad or good. So I'll give them the benefit there of the messages, nothing too bad. A couple pictures of Water himself. You can judge it yourself whether they were good pictures or bad pictures, but again, borderline. Now here's where the story starts to pick up. On the 6th of February this year, a fellow YouTuber named Icy Ops put out a video, his first video on Water Got Him, and pretty much the first video that had surfaced in the community calling him out. Now, many people have, you know, kind of in-between feelings on how they would judge the situation that Icy Ops first called him out on talking to an underage girl, right? Some people think it wasn't a big deal, other people think it was a huge deal. Now, whether you agree or disagree with that, it did start kind of a rolling boulder, if you will, which led into the next downfall. After he gave his response on Twitter, another YouTuber named Novell kind of picked it up where it left off, pretty much saying that the drama was over, but Water ended up calling out Icy Ops on a stream, which made the three YouTubers pretty much in this fight now. Then Water wanted to do some calling out of his own, so he called out a YouTuber named Thornton Smash. Now, what happened was, since he was pretty much exactly the same subscriber count and views, and the channels kind of even look different, but their voices sound very different, and that would be Novell and Thorn Smash. So they thought these two YouTubers were together. So when Water called out Thorn Smash, now all four of them were in it, and it was the three YouTubers against Water. He had just pulled in, you know, another person to get angry at him, calling him out for a video that has seemed to not exist. In my research, I couldn't find a video that existed of him personally calling out Water, Thorn Smash that is, and I couldn't really find anything. He said that there once was a video that he took down, but Thorn Smash has come out and said there has never been a video that he ever made on Water himself, so we just have to take him at his word. On top of that, he doesn't really cover people news, a lot like this channel, so you would think he really never made that video. Now, after that whole thing was settled, Icy Ops made a second video right against Water for calling out a YouTuber and pretty much defamation against him because he had nothing to do with the whole allegations in the first place. So once that second video was dropped by Icy Ops, after that I believe Water had enough and just didn't want any of this attention anymore, no more defamation, so he threatened legal action against everyone involved in pursuing the allegations against him in the first place, which at this point was still the underage allegations. But quick side note, on YouTube it is really hard to do that. There's been a lot of those cases, but usually the judges, even if it does go to court, they usually end up ruling that it was the free speech if you're in America. Usually sometimes YouTube legal issues get a little out of hand and very complicated. It's mostly settled by YouTube itself who was wrong and usually is settled by their legal team for who broke the community guidelines. But after Water threatened, another YouTuber named Kev the King got out there and called out Water for threatening legal action against YouTubers. Because legal action is, at the end of the day, pretty serious to threaten. Then another YouTuber named Jay Miles hopped on the track. Man, we are losing count here of all these YouTubers. But from there, after having multiple big YouTubers kind of call him out, he only lost 1K on YouTube. And then for a couple weeks, he was just stunted at 150. 
thousand subscribers. At this point, you would think after two months of kind of being tensions high against YouTubers, you think you just call it off and kind of go on a hiatus for a little while, get things to cool off. Water ended up just still going along with the flow, calling out people along the way, but toning it down of course which brings us to our next now after that landslide of things going people kind of just started tacking on top of it people started to call out water for his reusing of other people's content especially the data miners if you guys are unfamiliar with water youtube's about he usually covers leaks in his news video which that ends up belonging to a data miner who got those leaks in the first place so water got striked a couple weeks ago as of making this video and then he was unable to you know produce content he opened up a second channel and then just posted one video and has pretty much remained silent on the youtube platform for right now but once those strikes came in we don't know if he got enough to be terminated yet all we know is that he received at least two because he hasn't been able to upload in two weeks of making this video and may i remind you all this is from getting copy striked from the data miners after he used their footage in his videos. Now usually it'd be okay if you gave, you know, shout outs right to the person, but since the data miners right, they thought their work wasn't being appreciated enough when he was showing it and not really taking credit for it, but he wasn't even giving them credit. So they felt that they would strike him because they weren't getting credit for their work. Now you would think at this point, everything would be over and you'd call it good be silent just go their separate ways not maybe leave the apex community but take some time off from it right and that's basically what he was doing he's basically been streaming the last couple of weeks that he hasn't been able to be on youtube and he's just been streaming and that's about it until the other day when water got him was called out for ddosing servers now these next parts i would like to thank icy ops and thorn smash for pretty much piecing together the puzzle for what I'm about to tell you. Now, basically two videos have popped up on YouTube. One came a couple days ago and then one came out just a day ago, basically showing water DDoSing servers, but one also caught him doing it while he was in stream. It was just him streaming and then you can hear him just typing on his keyboard in the background and then the server crashes and then he loads back in to start killing a bunch of AFK people Why he was streaming and that's pretty darn solid evidence against him for DDoSing and on top of that Respawn said that they were looking into the issue. If you'd like to see videos and other information I'll be leaving some links down in the description below but just when you thought that things couldn't get even worse a Respawn employee called Connor Fords also known as the Notorious Hideouts, he pretty much just deals with DDoSers, cheaters, and all those kinds of people in Apex Legends. Well, anyway, people were tweeting at him, and then he said he was looking into it. And then about 24 hours later, Water was back on stream, and it ended up that he was locked out of Apex. Now, that is huge. That's called a hardware ban. So, it's really not the community saying he was cheating. It is actually the people at Respawn taking this evidence and pretty much giving the verdict that he is guilty and hardware banning him from his PS4. If he wants to continue playing Apex, he has to go buy another console because now he won't be able to play Apex on his PS4 that he has right now. So to recap this long video, Water Gotham had a couple allegations against him, the underage one, the lawsuit one, basically was threatening people, and the DDoSing one that he has now. Now on his side, he is pretty much off of YouTube and he has yet to upload another video on his second channel. He's been off the air for more than one week on YouTube, including the time on his second channel. That's the latest video we have from on YouTube. He streams on Twitch pretty much every day and he has yet to actually make a official response on Twitter. You can like hear him in his streams right reacting to how the you know pursuits of respawn right banning him from his accounts things like that you can pick up on that in his streams but he has yet to make an official statement saying or even defending the allegations against him and that's basically about it he hasn't really gone afk at this moment he's pretty much just hanging out he'll probably try to 
bring his career over to Twitch at this point since he has lost more than 10,000 subscribers and he's privated over 18 million views worth of videos and that's about it at this point that is the conclusion so far i will be keeping everyone up to date this is definitely a different video for me to produce we're definitely going back to glitches but i thought it'd be good to put out a timeline video of all this because this is huge a pretty big apex legends news youtuber kind of just going to the wayside at this point his youtube channel isn't over it's recoverable but he has to say something soon before things get even worse anyway that is it from me hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much to all the love and support lately it means a lot hope you are having a great day and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye guys